All right. Uh, Operation Sandman. Okay. The end of the petrodollar. All right. And there is no uh, pre-tribulation rapture or rapture period for you Christians. All right. Before I go any further, giving all glorification, honor, and praises unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKodash. Double honors always. <clears throat> Going out to the venerable apostles of the great millstone. Along with the bishops and Zaquan Yom. Who teach and guide the church well in these last days. And salutations to you, Akim, out there. Laboring on the four corners of the earth. Preaching, teaching, and prophesying the right way on the highways and hedges, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. On down all those among Israel who have believed our report, the men, women, and children believers, who are also going to be redeemed out of this coming hellfire, which is going to be compliments to the ICBMs and the chariots of the Lord. All right. Um, again, more on the de dollarization. Okay, drive taking place in the earth right now. All right, the nations of the earth are, uh, are revolting. Okay, against the, the beast system and primarily, you know, a, a the nations of the earth are revolting against the West, primarily, you know, revolting against, all right, America, all right, the whore, all right, the rise upon his beast, NATO, okay, and this is the end of American or Babylonian hegemony in the earth. You know, for the longest time, America enjoyed that, that prosperity due to the fact that you know, the U.S. dollar was the world reserve currency and all oil transactions were, were done, all right, in, in U.S. dollars. Okay, but that but that time, that time is, uh, that time is over. So we're going to play a couple of videos off TikTok about, all right, or, or slightly regarding, uh, you know, uh, 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 Operation Sandman or Project Sandman. Okay, just recently, uh, India purchased a million barrels of oil from the United Arab Emirates using rupees. Okay. You know, so America is being uh, uh, cut out of the equation. All right. The nations, again, the nations of the earth, even, even her own allies like Germany and France are going to, you know, are going to get away from her. So this is all Bible prophecy. You can read about Well, you can read about that in, in Obadiah. We all know the scriptures and, um, and uh, Revelation 17. Now I might get those scriptures for edification's sake, but let's go. Let's play these some of these videos. All right, listen up. All right, because you know it, it's time for you Israelites. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, to wake up out of sleep along with you Israelite foreigners who are mingling among the heathen. It's time for you to wake up. High time to wake out of sleep, spiritual sleep. Okay. Because we're entering in, you know, to a time of uh, of where it's, it's, it's going to be great tribulation out here, man. The, the, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. You're, you're, there's about to be a, a major paradigm shift in this earth. So anyway, let me let's let's go. Let's get some of these videos. I'm not going to make this long at all. Just a, a prophecy in short. I'll uh, slack you. Let's rewind. America, here. we have a problem. Uh, something happened quietly that the, that the U.S. media is not talking about, but it's going to affect everybody in America and everybody that, that uses the U.S. currency. Um, our currency just got overtook by another, uh, by the BRICS nation, meaning that $1 it takes it takes fifty fifty dollars to equal one dollar of the BRICS new currency. If you don't understand what that means, it's going to cause hyperinflation throughout America. Meaning, our food, uh, clothing, whatever you buy is going to cost like the most craziest number you'll ever think. Um, take a look at this video because there's no, really nothing we can do about it. But it's about, to, it's about to get rough out here, guys. Um, stay close to your family. Um, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay. So while y'all were sleeping last night, 
Joe Biden and Camilla. Oh, he said while y'all were sleeping, right? And that's that's just it. You know, it's all according to Bible prophecy because the Lord, through his prophet Zechariah, okay, said uh, uh, two thirds of you Israelites over here in Babylon was going to have to be cut off and die. That you were going to have to feel death by pain. Well, that that's Zechariah chapter 13 and, and, and 2 Ezra 9. All right. But he said, while you were sleeping, this news, all right, was, uh, you know, this, the, the, this news came out while you were sleeping, right? Yeah, you sleeping. That's why uh, I mentioned uh, Romans 13, you know, where the Apostle Paul writing to the Israelites dwelling in Rome, all right, th th those who were called to be saints. All right, he said, he said, again, he said it was high time to wake out of sleep. All right, and sleep he's referring to is 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 a spiritual uh, stupor, and the elect will wake up. All right, the elect will wake up. The elect will be activated. The elect will repent and believe in the gospel of Yahweh Bashmiah and cleave to the testimony of the prophets. All right, all the rest of you Israelites over here in America. Phew. All right, gross darkness has covered you. All right, and you're gonna perish, man. soldier right so china africa and russia just dropped the image of their money that's dropping november november 1st right okay here's how strong that money is here's how strong that money is it takes 55 american dollars to make one african dollar to make one russian dollar to make one china dollar right 55. Okay. All these foreign countries just try to offer Africa money. Africa told them, keep your money and help your people out. Tell Joe Biden we cool. We good over here. See, Africa has said it best. America said they feed us. Well, why would why America's mad when we tell them we don't want them when we don't want their help no more? And we want them off our planet. If they feed us, why are they mad? Right? We should be mad. But since we feed them, they mad. They the one that's doing all the retaliation. We cool. We done figured this shit out. Right? Now, y'all keep telling me America is the greatest country in the world. I don't fucking see it. But I do see it. They're the greatest country in the world. I fucking shit up. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and, and those so-called African, I say so-called African because that land mess over there known as Africa, that was named after the so-called white man, Scipio Africanus. That's actually the land of Hum, all right, or Ham, all right, them, them uh, uh, you know, them, uh, uh, them Hamites, so-called Africans. But those countries over there have had it, man. Okay, and he just said, you know, which is, which is what they're saying, they're the greatest country in the world to fucking shit up. Yeah. It speaks to uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 16. I'm just going to get right to the point on this. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee. And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. All right. Let's go. So America sold all its plans to China, right? Yep. Now, for America, for America to buy shit out of China, it's going to take 55 American dollars to buy a pack of bubblegum out of China, right? When America had all their plans here, right? So, me and my wife just bought a TV from Costco for 600 bucks. That same TV in the near future is going to cost three to four to $4,500 to get Remember the Michael Jordan she used to get for two hundred dollars out of out of China? The Michael George is now buy a Michael Jordan at two hundred dollars, right? The Michael George is gonna be twenty five hundred dollars, twenty five hundred dollars to get a pair of shoes out of China. That's how fucked up with America is, bro. They they're not telling you this, but shit has hit the fan, bro. 
I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all this. All y'all got all these bad bitches that lay up in the house and don't want to work. All these, all these thugs and stuff that don't want to work. You better tell them motherfuckers they better learn how to farm. You better get them bad bitches and them thugs up out your bed and tell them, tell them how to get in the field and, and plant some fucking corn, some fucking watermelon, some fucking squash and tomatoes and shit. Because shit is going, shit is getting real every day. And guess what? It's not slowing down. This shit is speeding up, bro. This shit is speeding up fast. Vladimir Putin, man, you a fucking good dude. Uh, he ain't a good dude. He's an Edomite too, but the Lord is using him to do a work in the earth. You know, we, we, we talk about uh, every day, you know, <laughs> every day, the Akiyam, you know, starting at the top of course with the apostles and, and elders and bishops talk about, you know, how the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to use Putin. Okay. To ultimately destroy, all right, the West and this beast system along with these other nations as well. He, he ain't a good dude, man. All right. He he ain't a good dude. He's busy, busy, he's just being used, you know, to do a work. The, the scriptures talks about the, the, the heart of the king or the mind of the king, you know, being in the Lord's hand. You know, and, and the Lord is the one that, that moves these kings, okay, to do what they do. Uh, but I wanted to get another scripture. Um, shit. I just slack you. I just lost my train of thought. It'll, it'll, it'll come back to me. Um, and if it doesn't, you know, it's cool. I got a couple more videos to play. <clears throat> Let's go. Africa, I love what y'all doing, man. Y'all getting, y'all getting respect now across the globe. Oh, I know what it is. He said something about, um, this is happening fast. And, uh, yeah, the media, you know, isn't, of course, being forthright. All right, with you, uh, with you damn, you know, sheeple, okay? They they steady keeping you, you know, distracted with bread and circus, all right? And you jakes over here in America are only concerned with folly, you know? That's, your whole life is is centered around folly, which the scripture says is set in great dign dignity here, you know? um, They said it was happening fast, and it is. And doesn't the scriptures say, it, it, you know, the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night? But let's get this in Revelation 12. Milk scriptures. Revelation 12. And, um, and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Right? Woe means destruction. You know, calamity is coming, man. Misery, chaos. All right? Destruction. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil, all right, which is Esau, all right. The word devil just means deceiver in Latin, Diablos. All right. It's Esau starting with uh, his elites, all right, them Jewish international banking families. It says, um, For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So he's, he's, he's only got a limited amount of time to make this happen, man. All right, to, to, to bring about this great reset and establish that NWO. All right. Now, I know y'all keep saying a lot of people, oh, America, the Europeans got the best military, this and that. Yeah, but a lot of the European countries trying to jump ship. Yeah. Germany and France have just told America they're going to leave the G7 summit to try to get on with Brinks. But the whole problem with that is they got to go through Africa. And Africa said, before we even sit down and talk to you, Return all our fucking gold, right? Africa has, has put it out there and said, y'all don't have shit to offer us. Not one goddamn thing. Y'all ain't got shit to even offer y'all people. So to all y'all motherfuckers, oh, Joe Biden just sent 3,000 soldiers to the border. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what, China, Russia, and Africa. Let's stop it right here. Yeah, this is, this is Bible prophecy, man. Again, Germany and France are two of the biggest players in the, uh, in the European Union. The two uh, dominant players in the European Union. And they about that they want to jump ship, man. And they're going to. At some point, something is gonna happen. Okay? And they're gonna go to the table and they're gonna they're gonna they're, and ultimately they're gonna fire missiles on America, man. You could read about that again in Obadiah. Let's go to Obadiah and get it in Obadiah.
uh, where it talks about those who were confederate with thee. Um, bear with me. All right. Um, Obadiah, powerful, you know, well, it's 21 verses, so it, but powerful, man. All right, the, the Lord put a heavy spirit on Obadiah to write some heavy truths down. All right. Um, and Obadiah, pursuant to uh, the regeneration and reincarnation, is back in the earth today prophesying. Talking a lot of shit. All right, prophesying against Mount Seir and Edom. All right, um, verse 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in them. All right. Again, which speaks to America's allies, like this man said, jumping ship. Okay. And uh, aligning with uh, the BRICS nations. They just did. They put, Africa has 50 countries on this continent. They put a military base in 40 of those countries. 40. Right? So, even if America touched down in Africa, they're going to get fucking barbecued. You got nowhere to land. Huh? Come on now and use your head, man. This country don't give a fuck about you, bro. These dudes done ran this shit in the ground. And y'all still trying to hold on to the boat. And if anything, we, the American people, need to get this government up out of here, bro. We need to get all this motherfucking people in this goddamn government. Republicans, Democrats, from the House to the Senate to the goddamn President. We need to fucking get these motherfuckers out of here. Because they the one got us in this shit. And then once we kick them motherfuckers out, we need to see if China, Russia, and Africa wants to buy America. Because it seems like they making all the power moves. See if they want to buy America and turn this country back around. Yeah, see, this dude is obviously informed like he... He knows some some things. All right, but but this 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 thing ain't gonna be turned around, man. This again, this is the end of American or Babylonian hegemony in the earth. Uh, all right, ain't no turning this ship around. Ain't no you know making America great again, which was America, um, which you know obviously America was never great at anything, you know, except for wickedness, great and wickedness, and like he said, fucking shit up, you know. All right, so let's let's go to the next video. Um. Oh shit! Bear with me. Damn. Let's just do it this way. What was that next video I wanted to get into? Oh, this is a good one right here. I don't want to make this too long, but it looks like uh, <laughs> it looks like this is gonna wind up being longer. This is gonna it's definitely gonna be longer than I intended, but that's okay, man. Let's go. Putin announced this week that Russia will be. Look at the name of this page. God's Again, plagues on America. God's plagues on America. All right. Chinese yuan uh, to, for international payments instead of the dollar. Saudi Arabia is also in talks with Beijing to do the same thing. Speaking of Saudi Arabia, meanwhile, they are in talks uh, with Iran as well to consider an economic alliance with China in Russia. And they can even be joining the BRIC countries, which is an acronym for these countries here, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These countries all have emerging economies. So 
what happens if our economy and the U.S. dollar are no longer the world's do dominant currency? Former Assistant Treasury Secretary and host of the Monica Crowley podcast, Monica Crowley, is here to weigh in. Monica, great to see you this morning. Uh, let's start right there. What happens if these emerging economies move away from the U.S. dollar towards the Chinese yuan? Well, good morning, Will. It's great to be with you. And it's really hard to overstate exactly how catastrophic the abandonment of the U.S. dollar would be uh, as the world's uh, global reserve currency. Look, since the end of World War II, the dollar has been the safe place to go, and it's been backed up by a couple of things. It originally was backed up by gold, but President Nixon took, took us off the gold standard, so there's no hard asset backing up the dollar anymore for the last 50 years. But it's backed up by the military. You know? It's backed up by the military. You know, you saw and also you saw sending in his economic hitman. You know, that's what it's backed by. All right, the, the America Babylon the Great is is known as what? Well, among other things, it's known as the hammer of the whole earth. Okay. Because there's not, nothing tangible. Backing up this this fiat, it's it's and it's, it's all witchcraft, man. All right, and she's right. It is going to be catastrophic. All Jake, you know, when you Israelites, you know, when them dollars, you know, ain't worth a shit. You know, and it takes, <laughs> and it takes forty five hundred of them to buy a TV, or or you know, two thousand of them to buy a pair of Jordans. Oh man. Oh man, can you imagine the chaos? Well, it's got well, we can't imagine it. You know, we read about it every day, man. Let's go. Also, it's been backed up by the strength and economic power of the United States and the fact that oil has always been traded in dollars. If that were to end, that would mean the end of the U.S. dollar. Look, th there is a perfect storm happening right now, Will. The, the world's uh, reserve currency, being that, uh, having that status, has been a real privilege. But we've abused the privilege by wholly reckless monetary and fiscal policies over many years years, certainly over the last couple of years, which has really devalued the dollar. On top of that, now you do have this perfect storm of Biden's weakness, his war on American domestic energy production, the Ukraine war, and as you point out, because of all of these things, we've got America's enemies led by China forming a new economic block. And all it would take at this point now, because we're at this pivotal moment, Will, is for Saudi Arabia, who has indicated that they're open to this, to say, you know what, we're going to be open to considering other currencies to trade in oil. If that were to happen, there would be a complete implosion of the globe. That's already happened several days ago. Uh, India, they purchased a million dollars, a million, they per <laughs> They purchased a million barrels of oil from the United Arab Emirates using rupees. Oh, yeah. While you were sleeping, right? Yep. While you were sleep, While you sleep, you know. While you were asleep. Y'all getting ready for the NFL football season coming, you know. God damn, man. You two-thirds. Y'all are annoying as fuck, man. All right, and the only remedy for y'all is death, man. That's just the way it is. They'll say it the Bible. They'll, they'll say it the scriptures. They'll say it for Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai. Yeah, it already happened, man. Okay? So that's the end of the petrodollar. Only economic system, but certainly the American economic system. And if that were to happen, you'd be looking at sky high inflation, just raging Weimar Republic kind of inflation. Yeah. If you think inflation is bad now, just wait. But more importantly, we would lose our economic dominance and we would right. lose our superpower status. Uh, Monica, the world's reserve currency you said it's a privilege for the United States for the dollar to have been the world's currency. What? How does that relate to each individual American? How has that changed or impacted or improved our lives throughout the last several decades? 
Yeah, I mean, it's given the United States incredible dominance um, in, in the world in terms of the economic system and in terms of trade. It's kept prices down. Mm -hmm. So whether it's energy prices, whether it's your food prices, the, the entire global economic system is reliant on the safe and secure dollar. But that is no longer true, again, because we've been printing money like crazy and devalued uh, the power of the dollar and the value of the dollar. But on top of it now, again, oil is the critical linchpin of this. If Saudi Arabia decides to join with America's enemies here and start trading oil in different currencies, that is going to undermine the entire global economic system. And here at home, you know what it's going to mean for us? It's going to mean raging inflation. Yeah, it's going to mean great tribulation, man. Hey, you Christians aren't getting out of this shit, man. Lord willing, I'm going to play this video where this, this dude is going into this, uh, some of this economic news. And at the end, he talks about, you know, how don't worry about it before the mark of the beast, which we all know what the mark of the beast is. It's, it's the it's the C-Hup, Karagma. Well, not all of us know it. You, hell, you got false shepherds and false prophets out here among Israel who don't talk about it. Anyway. You know, you Christians are going to are going to go through it. You're going to be rounded up too. you're going to have reservations, you know, at, at Camp FEMA. <laughs> but what is it going to mean? It's going to it's going to be great tribulation, man. All right. There's going to be a lack of bread. Great tribulation. Let's get, let's get some let's get some of that in. Uh, Second Ezra 15. That's what it's going to mean, man. This lady's gonna go through it. You Americans are fixing ready, are, are fi <laughs> fixing ready, are fixing to go through it, man. Second Ezra fifteen, getting right to the point. In verse nineteen, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Again, when them dollars ain't worth nothing, when all them T bills come back to America, and the currency is devalued once and for all. Okay. A man ain't going to have no pity upon his neighbor out here. It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yup. There's going to be a lack of bread out here, famine, and great tribulation, man, when this happens. Again, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, the time of Jacob's struggle. All right, let's get out of this. Um. Here's that Christian dude talking about some damn rapture. Let's see. Where's that other video? Oh, yeah. Here we go. It sounded like we were like loony in 2017 when we started talking about this. So we would say 209 countries agreed behind. Yeah, we, we've, we've been sounding loony for the longest, man. You know, going back and going back to the, you know, going back three and a half plus decades with the apostles. Starting at the top with the uh, elder apostle to heart. Okay, the, the elder uh, apostle Gabor, the elder apostle Ramlab, the elder apostle Rakar. All right, on down, man. We've been sounding like, you know, we were uh, lunatics for the longest telling you that these things are coming. You know, but we don't we don't sound so crazy anymore, do we? And that's what's going to lead a lot of you Israelites to, to, to say that. You know, yeah, there was there was a prophet among us. You people are fixing to find out, man. On the scenes to drop the United States dollar and return to the gold standard. Well, it wasn't until 2019, I think, that they actually put a name to it, or at least published it. And that name is called Project Sandman. According to Project Sandman, what they will say is 100 plus nations agreed that when it triggered, they would drop the United States dollar and return to the gold standard. And at that time, the dollar would plummet to zero, and all dollar denominated assets will also plummet to near zero or zero. And that's exactly what we saw happening when Putin went to the Ukraine to clean out the dumps, to get rid of the trafficking, the drug trafficking, the tra human trafficking, trafficking dealing with children. Putin went over there to clean it out because a lot of deep state actors all over the world were participating in nefarious activities over there. Right. When he did that, 
number 46. I guess I can say his name over here. Yeah, you can say it. I can't. So Biden put sanctions on Putin. But a lot of people don't realize that Putin, Xi Jinping of China, and uh, number 45, President Trump, who's also the 19th president of the republic, they were all working together behind the scenes. Yes. yes. So, sir? Yes. So when uh, Putin went over there to clean it out, then uh, the 46 or Biden put sanctions on Vladimir Putin. But Vladimir Putin, being the great chess master that he is, just said, it's okay, you can put sanctions on me, it means nothing, I'll just drop the United States dollar for trade, and I will go to the gold standard. He then led the BRICS nations, the BRICS union, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, to do the same. <laughs> then that led... Uh, uh, um, Saudi Arabia to drop the United States dollar. Yeah. And then other countries, one by one, drop the United States dollar. Yeah. So, yeah. When, yeah, so what you see happening, again, according to Project Sandman, is when triggered, and Putin was the trigger, right. all of the countries would do- drop the United States dollar, and then all the dollar and dollar denominated assets will plunge to zero. And so- what yeah, so when those countries drop, 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 excuse me, the dollar, those dollars came flooding back home to America and they decreased in value such that now, but before, right before all the countries dropped the, dropped the dollar, the dollar had actually lost 98% of its purchasing power. Now it really plummeted to zero and it's lost a hundred, nearly a hundred percent of its purchasing power. So we see the zeros here. Um, which is a signal to us that the white hats, the people behind the scenes that are in control, working the military, the military. Yeah, the military and the republic, our lawful government, they are bringing on a new system. Right. So it won't be based on dollars. Right. It won't be based on the fiat dollars. It will be based on um, money that is backed by silver and gold. So we're going to see this change. It's going to even be more than that because... Revelation chapter 18, getting right to the point, because Babylon is going to fall, all right, it's the judgment written, this place, America had to run in the earth, all right, just like ancient Egypt had to run in the earth, just like ancient Rome had to run in the earth, all right, and that run is over, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh power, who judges her. See, Yahweh Bashmi Al is going to judge America. Yahweh Bashmi Al is going to condemn America and overthrow her. Yeah, it's just in like, you know, the same, the same way Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown. All right. Via, via fire. Um, I guess we can get to this this Christian guy because he talks about a pre-tribulation rapture. Look again, you Christians aren't going nowhere. The ones who are going to be beamed up into the clouds, not literal clouds, the way you Christians are are, are telling it. All right, the ones who are going to be beamed up into the clouds. Those clouds are the chariots of the Lord, which you retards call UFOs or UAP. You Christians aren't going to be delivered by, by J.C., by Jebus, by Zeus, by the sun god, by Serapis. He ain't coming back. Yahweh Shah is coming back Okay, to, to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? Not Christians. And it ain't going to happen prior to uh, this, this, this period of great tribulation, man. It's, it's, that's clearly... Yeah, the, the Messiah himself tells you that in Matthew's the 24th chapter. Let, let's go. Let's play this. Okay, I couldn't stitch this video that's coming in, so I had to do something on my phone with it and put a video together. Today is Monday, August 14th, about 5.45 p.m. Uh, this video came up about four hours ago. Take a look. So for those
those who laughed at my previous video about the US dollar collapsing, uh, this narrative's just gone public with two weeks' notice. Get ready. Operation Sandman, are you aware of that? Uh, for those who don't know, Operation Sandman's a collaboration of over a hundred nations in agreement to simultaneously sell off the US Treasury holdings, which are government bonds, uh, selling them back to the US to collapse the US dollar. The narrative just went public with two weeks' notice. Get ready. The BRICS nations are holding a conference which is coming up. They've just announced their own gold-backed, asset-backed currency, uh, which they're going to be using to trade. More and more countries are now joining the, the, the BRICS alliance. Saudi Arabia, um, I'm reading, has applied to join, which means that they won't be selling oil in petrol dollars anymore. Um, and when you combine with this Operation Sandman, it's a good night Vienna for the dollar. If you're holding US dollars, start to think about uh, maybe some other currencies, start to make uh, some arrangements in regards to that. Uh, but again, don't make, this is not financial advice, I'm not advising you to do anything. Do your own research, folks. Um, but yeah, honestly, the BRICS, uh, the BRICS nations and uh, basically the dominance of the US dollar is now going to be coming to an end. Um, times are changing, folks. Um, this will most likely, they'll do this on, on a Sunday. Um, this will happen and it will crash the stock market on the Monday morning um, and the US dollar quickly follows suit. So will the way of life in uh, the USA as you've known it. Um, so again, two weeks, I believe, until the BRICS conference. Their currency is coming out 1st of November. <sighs> Clock is ticking, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, now that you've seen the video, take a look at this. In about two weeks, they're going to crash the U.S. dollar. And, and then they're having the meeting uh, with BRICS nations about two or three weeks after that and then in november they're going full digital currency with the BRICS nations kind of like what i talked about on one of my pinned videos just remember we now have biometric payment systems that were patented by uh by morgan uh by jp morgan in january that's the mark of the beast payment system it is not the mark of the beast itself but the mark of the beast technology is here now when you go to the rapture and go to the tribulation the mark of the beast does not come in until about three and a half years in how close are we well if you've seen my 10 minute video we are way closer than you think we are people get ready Jesus is coming. I see these guys bugged out, man. This guy's bugged out. Again, Jesus ain't coming to get you, man. You gonna you gonna be <laughs> this guy, these Christians that like the elder says, man, y'all need to put the Bible down. Let the prophets of the Lord take. We got it, man. You don't got it. You don't got it. We got the oil. You don't got it, man. You got Christianity. The, the Messiah, the, again, the Redeemer, is only coming back for Israel, his people, man, Israel, and the elect at that. All right? And again, you're going to be forced to make a decision, man. You're going to go through the hour of temptation where you're going to have to decide, do I want to take this sea hook? And a lot of you Christians are losing, are fainting anyway. A lot of you Christians, a lot of you so-called, you know, Christians, you churchgoers, you Bible thumpers. You know, you, you, you're getting scared, man. Because what you've been taught ain't lining up with uh, what's taking place in the earth. Your pastor's sold you a bill of goods, man. I keep repeating myself. Ain't no pre-tribulation rapture. Psh, hold on, man. Doesn't the Bible talk about entering into the kingdom of Yahweh Shah through much tribulation? Yes, it most certainly does. Acts 14 and 22. But let's get Matthew 24 and hear it from the Messiah himself. When is he coming back? Before or after the tribulation? <laughs> Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after. After. 
immediately after the tribulation of those days, the days we're in right now. Tom and Jacob Strobel says, Shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. All right, that's taking place right now. The powers of, of this heaven, of this rulership, these elites are shook. Okay? Verse 30 says, And then it shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. You know, traveling in the greatness of his strength, Isaiah 63. Yet of clouds is the chariots, man. All right? See, this dude thinks he's getting out of here before all these things take place. No, you're going to go through it too, man. you fixing to go through it. You Christians are fixing to go through it, man. Okay? And you're going to, you know, again, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to become bitter. You're going to become angry. You're going to become afraid. And a lot of you, a lot of you are going to, uh, are going to go looking and going to go uh, hunt down your pastors. <laughs> yeah, man. Who's going to be beamed up into those clouds into those ships not christians man first thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16 for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of yahweh and the dead and in hamasiach shall rise first so those men who have died in the truth died doing the work they're going to be risen up first upon the lord's return okay it says, then we which are alive and remain shall be called up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, verse 18, comfort one another with these words. So, yeah, you know, Operation or Project Sandman, you know, the end of the petrodollar. Again, you can go look that up. You know, just type in India buys oil with rupees. So that's already here. This is already here. We're just waiting for, you know, everything to play out, okay, in this realm. But this is already taking place in the spirit, in the spiritual realm. This is already done. It's already a done deal. All right, but we got to wait for it to play out. That's what we're doing. We're waiting on the Lord, man. So, look, if you were Israelite, I'm going to cut it here. It's about 20 minutes longer than I wanted it to be. But that's okay because that's the spirit of the Lord, man. All right, and the spirit has free reign, you know, or cockwadice. He determines how long these videos are. All right. So, uh, hey, no, with that, I want to say, you know, hey, wake up. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. Shalom, and it's on to the next video.